Hey Jay, how did you how did you go to growing the business? You know, to having so many trucks out on the road. Most people actually think that I actually own all these trucks. Well, truth is, and I tell people, and I'm very transparent with them. No, you got the wrong idea. Hey, how's it going? This is Jay Mancini. Welcome to my YouTube channel. And you know what, guys? I actually don't have a name for it yet, so I'm open to taking suggestions. Just want to let you know a little bit more about myself and who I am. I own a trucking company here in the greater Houston area. This started about 12, almost 12 years ago now. So the reason why I have this channel, I get questions asked all the time like, Hey Jay, how did you how did you go to growing the business, you know, to having so many trucks out on the road? Most people actually think that I actually own all these trucks. Well, truth is, and I tell people and I'm very transparent with them, uh, no, you got the wrong idea. You know, at one time I believed that owning a lot of trucks was the right way, but actually I want to show people how they can be able to have access to as many trucks as they want to eventually have on the road without having to actually own the trucks. And I tell people all the time, like, just kind of imagine, you know, Uber. Uber's the biggest transportation company, right, in the world. But how many cars do they actually own? So it's a similar concept with what I'm doing in the trucking business. So I want to show you how you can have a successful business without having to have all the maintenance and other things that go involved with you having to own all those trucks. So let me tell you why I got started. Back around 2011, I was actually wanting to start my own business. As I started to really think about, you know, where I wanted to go, how I wanted to grow, I said, well, you know what? I need to do something that represent myself who I am as an individual. And one thing that I always got from a lot of individuals was like, man, good at talking with people and good communicating with people. And I said, well, let me do something that I'm going to like. I had a, a friendship with an individual. He came to me and he said, hey, you know what? Let's start this trucking business. Let's do this business together. And um, I was like, okay, well, sure, let's, let's do it, you know? And uh, he starts telling me about the trucking industry. At that time, obviously, I, I didn't know anything about it. I said, you know what? It seems like something I would like. And you know, when I started going through trial and error, I started getting involved in the business. I was actually going from one job site to another, literally handing out my business cards, looking for work because I didn't know how to look for work, where to find work. Keep in mind, I don't even have any experience at the time. People were like, man, this young guy, he's here, you know, looking for work. They saw my hustle and my grind. Next thing you know, I started getting phone calls. But guys, at the time, I didn't even have one single truck. That's actually where everything was born because I didn't have the budget. I didn't have the money to even buy a truck. And I just started, you know, trial and error. You know, I started talking to owner operators. What do you make? Who do you work for? And I started to actually build relationships with individuals. And next thing you know, you know, we start getting hired on to do these jobs, do these projects. I start getting trucks together. I start calling guys, you know, one by one, like, hey, I got this job. Can you come and help me out? Um, we're going to do, you know, we're going to run these loads. Okay, how much does it pay? I'm telling them it pays X amount of dollars. Of course, I would get a lot of people would be like, no, I got work already. Or, hey, I don't even know who you are. Why should I come work for you? So it was very challenging at the beginning. I was just be very consistent with it. They started to trust me. We started to grow. You know, I started to get more work from different uh, construction companies. And then I started hiring owner operators. You know, sometimes at the beginning, I would literally only have maybe one or two trucks on the road. I would say maybe about a year or so, those seeds that I planted, you know, uh, started to actually give a little bit of fruit. I started to get calls from different individuals that I had talked to in the past. They were like, hey man, can you help me out with some trucks? And then they tell me what they have going on. And of course, it was very challenging at the beginning. I was having to run routes, dispatch, hire individuals, go out there and look for work, invoicing the same clients. Uh, at this moment, I don't have an office. I don't have anything. You know, it's just a one-man show. When I started, there was less resources. I mean, right now with social media and everything that's going on, if they got work ethic, they can build relationships. I mean, they can grow a business in a matter of a year or so. You know, it actually took me, I would say, probably a good four to five years before I actually started to really truly build what I like to call a, a foundation for my business. So, uh, Jay, tell me, like, how can I buy a truck? Because I want to get into the trucking business. And so me, I'm thinking, like, why would you want to buy trucks if you can make it in this business and be successful without actually having to own any trucks. I did have trucks at one point. I still own, we still own a few trucks. Now, I'm not saying not to own any, but I'm saying there is another way out. And I'm a firmly believer because I have a business now going on 11, 12 years. It's a seven figure business. I started from nothing. And they're like, well, because I want to start in the trucking business, don't you need a truck to, to start in the trucking business? So you actually don't need a truck. Well, how is that? You can essentially be what's called a broker and broker out 
trucking services to general contractors. They're like, oh, is that what you do? I thought you own like 20, 30 trucks. We probably could own 20 or 30 trucks if we wanted to, but essentially, the less you have to manage the maintenance, the repairs, uh, not to mention the drivers, the cost of insurance. And I can go on and on, which, you know, until you talk to you, I'll talk to you guys more about that uh, later on. That gives me more time to actually grow in the business. Of course, there's several other things that you need uh, that we'll talk about later on in the future, but you can essentially start the business without owning a truck. So if you or anyone you know wants to actually learn how to get in the trucking business without actually having to own a truck, please feel free to subscribe, share it with your friends, family members, and we'll see you again soon.